Hello Spartans, this is Tori Harton and Shailen Garrett with the latest in Spartan news. It's finally springtime and I'm so excited that spring break is coming. Are you looking forward to it? Yes, and I'm especially looking forward to sleeping in. Yes, I can't wait to relax and not have to do homework. But now let's go to the news around the school. Students in math classes are always wondering how their math will apply to real life. Now the math department has a cool class that fuses geometry and the practical application of math with construction. Let's go to Mrs. Stralo and Mr. Kowalski with more on this creative idea. Okay, I'm Aidy McGrath and I'm here with Mrs. Stralo. And we have a few questions about your new class, geometry and construction. So how does the class run? So it's a two period class and they have math for one period and then construction for a second period. Mostly ninth period is math and then 10th period is construction. Um, sometimes we flip flop it, but basically just apply the math that they learned into construction. Okay. And is this offered to all grade levels? No, only sophomores. Okay. So and it takes sorry. the, sorry, it takes the place of like their regular okay. geometry class. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. And would you recommend this like all students or? Um, I think anybody who's interested in maybe going into the trades or likes to work with their hands, it's definitely a class to try out and it's new and fun and totally different than any regular geometry class. Okay, and are you the only one who teaches it? Or? Um, it's me and then Mr. Kowalski, the okay. WIPS teacher. We team teach. He's just not in this interview right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Annie, for your special report. Constructing is important. Constructing a plan for prom is essential to the tradition. Let's go to the man with the plan, Mr. Reppa. Uh, my name is Jack West and I'm here with Dr. Reppa. How are you doing? Today yeah, we're going to be talking about prom. So, Dr. Reppa, what are we to expect from prom? Well, well, Jack, prom this year um, is going to be uh, really awesome. It's going to be even better than last year. Um, one of the reasons why we switched venues to the Odyssey in Tinley Park was because it's got a bigger dance floor. So uh, I think the students will like that a lot. The food's going to be great. Um, the actual visuals, uh, we have a huge balcony this year with all windows against the uh, one side of the room. So it's going to be a really neat uh, feature. And I think it was going to have a lot of fun. That's great to hear. What are the rules we're expecting from Prof? Rules. You can imagine what the rules are going to be. Um, you got to behave yourself. Um, can't do anything bad to prom. Can't do anything bad at prom. Um, just kind of have a good time and keep it uh, very clean and, uh, and healthy. And uh, so, yeah, that's about it. Right. One last question. Where are we to buy the tickets at? Buying the tickets, yes. Tickets are only sold online. Um, there's an email I sent out with a link uh, to the web store. You can buy your tickets there. Uh, normal tickets, student tickets, are sold from now until April 23rd. And then if you want to bring a guest, you got to fill out a guest form by April 23rd. Turn that into the dean's office. If they approve you, you can buy your guest ticket from April 25th to the 29th. And then May 3rd is the actual event. So, yeah, that's how you do it. All right, thank you for your time, Dr. Reppa. The theater department is at state for both group interpretation and contest play. These students are carrying out a storied program and making the community proud. Spring sports are in high gear. Let's talk to Mr. Gurney about the early baseball season. So, Mo, what are some important games coming up? Oh, well, so for next week, we are going to Terre Haute, Indiana, to play a game against Marshall High School. Yeah, that's fun. How far away is that? A three-hour drive. Are you getting there on, like, buses or? Yeah. Then we also play Mount Carmel this weekend, double header. That'll be, We're that'll be fun too at Carmel in the city. It's supposed to be really cold, so it'll be fun. And lastly, who are some big players that you'd like to uh, Ivan Gonzalez has been doing well at second base. Uh, Kyle Bader's been doing well for us hitting. Charlie's been doing well. Uh, and then John Olnicek just threw a no-hitter the other day uh, against Morton. All right, thank you guys. Shorebell made an Oklahoma proud with a regional finish in girls wrestling.